Welcome back to Houston Life. You know, a lot of us have bucket lists, right? Things that you want to complete in your lifespan. But our next guest has quite a unique goal. She wants to climb Colapaxi, an, an active stratovolcano in the Andes Mountains, dressed in a T-Rex suit, no less. Okay, and there's a reason for the T-Rex suit. Eight years ago, Caitlin Connor's leg was amputated. She says the incision sites looked like teeth marks. Watch this. In May of 2014, Caitlin Connor's life changed in an instant. She was riding on a motorcycle when she was hit by a distracted driver who was texting. She didn't know at the time, but she was four weeks pregnant. She ended up losing her leg, but miraculously, the baby was fine. Caitlin now has a passion for sports, speed skating, boxing, even rock climbing. She's currently training to climb Cotopaxi, the second highest summit in Ecuador this fall. And Houston Life's Mel Camp joins us from a rock climbing gym in Sawyer Heights just outside downtown Houston with more on Caitlin's incredible journey. You're hanging out there at Momentum. Ah. And uh, how's it going out there? This is such an incredible story, Mel. Oh my gosh, Caitlin is so inspiring and we've been hanging out for the past hour. I've been learning how to rock climb and my, I gotta say my arms are getting really tired, probably more than my legs are. I might have to, can we get down? Can yeah. I? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think we're meant to go all the way up and then go down the downstairs, but um, yeah, this is so cool. This has been so fun hanging, hanging with you, literally. <laughs> But Caitlin, you have such an inspiring story. Of course, we heard before that you lost your leg in a car accident several years ago now. Eight years. And you've yep. had such a journey recovering from that and then getting to this point where you're about to literally climb a mountain. Yeah, I'm excited. This, this climb's actually taken almost three years just to happen because I was supposed to climb during 2020, but you know, 2020 happened. So uh, we finally get to climb this year and I'm excited to join the team. That's gonna be so amazing. I mean, when you, Everything that you do now is so inspiring, like bike riding and marathon running and all of that stuff. Was there a point that you realized you could do this sort of stuff? I mean, I can't imagine you just woke up and went, oh, I don't have a leg, I'm just going to be a hero now. When no, did you become well, a hero? I, I thank you for calling me that. I think my daughter's probably the only one that might think that. But um, I didn't do sports before I lost my leg, and it was really until I had to start learning how to walk over and over again that I realized, oh, this takes practice. This isn't something you wake up and do. So when I look at other athletes around the world, Paralympians, Olympians, I don't look at them and go, oh, they just woke up that way. No, they worked their tail end off to get there. And so it just started making it easier. You know, Every time I got to a different topic or a different interest, I would say, okay, well, if I can do that, what else can I do? And that's just kind of what pushes me towards the next thing. Right, and of course the next thing, the very next thing is this weekend, tomorrow, we can come to Momentum, we can get climbing, and we can be part of a really cool fundraiser that you have that is going to help the organization that you're climbing for. The Range of Motion Project, yes. Uh, the whole point of the nonprofit is to raise funds and awareness for amputees, and they're in the U.S., Ecuador, and Guatemala right now, and we raise funds to provide prosthetics to amputees that need them. They just need them to do like normal day-to-day -day activities, go to work, feed their families. They don't have the same health care system that we do. Uh, we're very fortunate here, and sometimes I think we forget that. But our goal is to kind of raise awareness and help them get to a point of mobility. Which is so awesome. I mean, even just today, if you take a look, you've got one prosthetic, this is for your climbing. And then actually, if I run over here, this is the one, <laughs> this is the one you came with. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't think about what goes it's in. It's light, huh? To, actually, it is really light, but it's actually <laughs> heavier than I thought it would be. I suppose it has to well, to support if you. Well, think about like how much bone and tissue weighs, it's Ooh. probably pretty similar. They can be very bulky and heavy, yeah. but I have a fantastic prosthetic company here in yeah. Houston that makes them just the way I need them to be. That is so awesome. And that is, of course, what tomorrow's fundraiser is all about. So if people want to get here, it's pretty easy. It's going to happen from 11 till 2 tomorrow, but there's some cool things happening. Yeah, so come ready with, with questions. I'm willing to answer questions tomorrow. Um, I'm pretty much an open book, but we're going to have a nice raffle. We're even raffling off a skydive from uh, Skydive Space Oh my gosh, so you, she even skydives. She rock climbs, <laughs> she skydives. You're putting me to shame, but also at the same time inspiring me. Okay, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Raffle items, food, fun, and rock climbing, which I've got to say, this is awesome. 
I think we should get back to it. And, um, Let's yeah. do it. Yeah, we're going to get back you to climbing. You might want to hold the leg for this. I tell you, I'm going to put the leg <laughs> down. Out of the way, because you don't want to have anything in case you fall. It's a it's highly dangerous situation here. But, um, Caitlin, thanks so much. You've been a great teacher, not just for climbing this wall today, but also thank climbing you. through life, you thank know. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank let's you. Climb. All right, let's do it. Derek, Courtney, I'm going to give this wall one more shot. Get to it, girl. Looking good it. up there. I'm, Great story. Guys, I think I'm cheating. I'm like mixing colors. What? You got this, Mel. Because your legs are and your arms are so long. It truly is incredible. And what's interesting oh. is Caitlin wasn't an athlete right, until before. this amputation. And now that little baby is all grown up, eight years old. I know.